remember on a daily basis who we are in Christ. Amen. You know what last time I, I find myself saying, if, if, if I do a same thing to offend you, please, please let me know. All right. And I, I will apologize. And once I apologize, I go to God and I ask God's forgiveness. Because the apology without God's forgiveness, that thing is still out there. I don't want to be judged by that. So I apologize. Sister Doris, I apologize. Sister Christina, I apologize. And then I'll say, God, please forgive me for my fault against those ladies. God, please, please, please forgive me. Finally, we want to look at how. How do you have affection for believers you may not even like? That's a, that's a, that, that, that's a tough a tough question. That, that shouldn't even be a question. Because as believers, we should. We should like each other. We should love each other. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, Jared should be inviting me over for fish on Friday night. I should be inviting him over for fish on Saturday night. We, we, we all should be one big happy family. Whatever I have, you can get. What you have, I can get if I need it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's what Christianity is, a, is about. If we see any that are not here today, that are not here today, that we know attend on a regular, we leave this place. We should be reaching out. Hello, Sister Irma, how you doing? Yeah. I see you weren't in service today. Somebody reach out to Sister Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody reach out to Sister Ellen. Yeah. Brother Mac. Any other members of this church we know. We need to reach out. We need to reach out. Because what happens is this. And I hope I'm not strange too much. What happens is this. If we can't find the love in the church, we go out to the street and we get it. But that's not the place we want to get it. You're going to find something. If we can't get it in the church, you're going to find something. How do you, how do believers who may do this honorable thing? Everything in the Bible is written to ask this question. Everything preached from this pulpit, from sun to sun, is, asked, is aimed to answer this question. Because everything God does, He does to make His children what we ought to be. God does what He does to make us what we ought to be. Even when we go through trials and tribulations, we go through them because He's trying to make us what we ought to be. So receive everything from God as a means of grace to make you love with affection and honor others. Let me draw a few practical things. The most basic I will just sum up together in a sentence. To become the kind of person who loves believers with affection and prefers to show honor rather than get honor, you need to know that God commanded this. You need to know that these things belong to the very nature of your newness in Christ. Your newness. When you receive Christ, you pull off the old man and you put on Christ. The newness of Christ. They are fruit, not ornaments. You need to admit that you can't be this kind of person without divine enablement. You can't create real affection and authentic honor. And you need, therefore, to pray earnestly and regularly that God would do whatever he has to do to make you more 